Hi guys, welcome back to Alt Baking Boot Camp, your crash course in healthier baking. I'm Mia Rigdon, nutritionist, trained chef, and the founder of Rasa. So a lot of my clients come to me feeling frankly bummed out about having to cut out some of their favorite baked goods to decrease their sugar intake or if they need to cut out gluten or dairy or adhere to some other form of dietary restrictions. But I'm here to tell you that you do not have to give up your favorite foods. So today we are making a gluten-free, grain-free, and nut-free granola. What I love about this recipe is that the bulk of it uses coconut, which is not only super delicious, especially when toasted, but it is a lighter base for a granola than say oats or nuts, like what you would normally find in a granola. But it's full of protein and fiber packed seeds. So in addition to all of these glorious protein and fiber packed seeds that we're going to be using today, I'm also using some turmeric, which as we all know is highly anti-inflammatory, and cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my favorite spices because it helps regulate your blood sugar levels. All right, so it looks like I have a lot of ingredients here, but this recipe is actually super simple. So the first thing that we're gonna do is combine all of the dry ingredients into a mixing bowl. We've got our base, coconut. And so then we have raw pumpkin seeds. And we've got some hemp seeds, which I love. They're full of protein. And some cacao nibs, which are an antioxidant powerhouse and also have this chocolatey flavor, which everyone loves, and are full of fiber as well. And we've got sesame seeds and chia seeds. So in addition to the dry ingredients, we are going to zest some orange. And I love this because it just adds a little fragrance to the recipe, especially as it bakes. The recipe calls for half a tablespoon, but you know, just eyeball it. And if you don't like orange, you don't have to do it, but I like this. Especially with the chocolate, it almost gives me that like chocolate orange vibe. And when you're zesting, you wanna make sure just not to zest over the white pith parts and really just get the exterior and always make sure to give any citrus fruits uh, that you're zesting a good wash. And then we've got our spices. So we've got turmeric, which is highly anti-inflammatory. And it's also going to complement the orange hue of the zest so that we get this nice golden granola. And then we've got some cinnamon, which is great for managing your blood sugar levels. And of course, it's just a really warm, beautiful spice. And we're just gonna mix this all together. Make sure it's thoroughly combined. And we're gonna add a really generous pinch of salt. Love the balance. So now we've got our dry ingredients mixed together and we're just gonna add the wet. Okay, so the wet ingredients call for maple syrup, coconut oil, and some vanilla extract. The coconut oil has to be melted and mine was hard this morning. It's kind of a foggy day here in, in Santa Monica. So I'm gonna go grab my melted coconut oil and I'm just gonna add the maple syrup to it. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. There we go. Just give this a quick little whisk. Nothing fancy. Make sure you get every last bit. There's not a lot of sugar in this recipe, so you wanna get every little drop of maple syrup in there. So it's really important to make sure that all of the ingredients are evenly coated with the maple syrup and the coconut oil because it's gonna toast really nicely and get that golden hue, but also because a really important part of granola are those little clusters, the clumps. That's the best part, right? So the sugar is what's going to help, you know, sugar's kind of sticky, so the sugar is what's gonna help form those clumps, so we wanna make sure that every piece in here has some of that. The great thing about using turmeric in this recipe is that you can really see if there was an area that didn't get mixed together properly because it all should have this like golden turmeric tint. All right, that looks pretty good to me. 
Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 300 degrees and I've got two baking sheets, or two half sheets, you could use one full if you wanted, but two half sheets lined with parchment paper. Um, so I'm just gonna lay the granola out evenly. You wanna make sure not to crowd it too much. You want to have like one nice even layer so that everything gets nice and toasted. I'm gonna set my timer for 25 minutes. Now, let me tell you, I've been making this recipe for years and I've moved multiple times and the time that it takes to make this granola has changed <laughs> because my ovens are different. Everyone's oven is kind of different. So what I like to do is set the timer for 25 minutes and then I'll take the um, granola out, I'll give it a little, you know, just kind of mix it around a little bit and then I'll put it back in and just set it for like five minutes and just keep checking until everything's nice and golden brown. So that way, you're not gonna burn it. I think these are ready to go in. All right, so as you can see here, it's golden on the edges and some of the pieces in there are looking a little brown. So I'm just gonna give it a little mix so that both sides get all that toasty goodness. And then I'm gonna set it back in the oven. I'm gonna set the timer for like five minutes because it's looking pretty toasty and see where we're at. Okay, so I just pulled this out of the oven again and this is why you gotta watch it because some of these parts are looking a little dark to me but I think we got it just in time. And as you can see, everything is nicely golden brown and we're gonna let this sit until it's completely cool before we transfer it into our airtight containers because we really want those little clumps to form together. All right, so here is the final granola. You can see all of the elements are incorporated in each bite and it's got this wonderful golden hue and let's see how it tastes. Mm. Crunchy, toasty, sweet, not too sweet. What's nice is that the coconut, which is naturally a little bit sweet, combined with the maple syrup, gives you that sweetness that we are trying to replicate from the original, but without the blood sugar spikes and with more healthy fats, more protein, more fiber, this really packs a nutritional punch. You can find the recipe below, but don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good so that you do not miss an episode of Alt Baking Bootcamp. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments. I'll be monitoring them and answering your questions, and I'd love to see how your granola creations turn out.